I keep saying Aries, but I keep hearing Leo. So, <laughs> I'm doing my fire signs. So I'm trying to figure out which one I was going to do first. Okay, so... So we're gonna do Aries. All right, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, with the Devil, the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Aries. Yeah, with Little Fortune and the Fool. Oh my God, it's like. First of all, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Someone doubted you, I feel. Some of you guys are getting a whole lot of attention. Victory and success, okay? And whoever this was that doubted you, they kind of wish that they were up here with you. They're watching you amongst a lot of other people back here who are watching you. Be successful. Um, This... Whatever this is you were doing, people could have even tried to talk you out of it. Or people could have looked at you like you was crazy. I'm also getting, people could have thought you were like a devil worshiper or some shit. Like, what the fuck is going on? I feel like they're starting to see you in a different light. They could want to apologize. Um, King of Cups, wow. Four of Wands. Now, this could have been someone who was scared to um, admit how they felt about you because of what you were doing for work. That's what I'm getting. Because of what you were doing for work. I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's traditional. Whatever you're working on is not traditional. And there could be a lot of people who disagree with what you're doing. There's the Queen of Cups to match that king. All right, what else, Spirit? What else is going on for Aries? The Magician with the Sun. Now, this is Leo. And remember, I couldn't make up, a, up my mind whether I wanted to do Aries or Leo. Yeah, maybe this person couldn't make up their mind about you either in the past. So maybe someone's dealing with an Aries or Leo or uh, Capricorn here. But for some reason, yeah, look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sag, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Cups. Someone realized it. it's like they were being so judgmental they didn't even realize it 333 on the phone and i feel like they missed a opportunity with someone who was being sent to them that cup that's coming out of the sky i mean they see the truth about it now but this person was too judgmental and or they may have had other people around them judging you harshly because i was really getting someone was afraid to speak up on how they felt so they withheld their feelings. They withheld this offer. All of this that they wanted to give you, they withheld it because of what you do for work. Okay? Yeah, Seven of Swords. People was lying. Because earlier I was getting, somebody was saying you was a devil worshiper. Which, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I know it's people out there that do that shit, but I, that's not what I see right here. Okay? I see somebody lied. And that's why this person is in regret for believing them folk. And, you know, those people could be going through karma. And now your person, they just want to walk. They want to walk the fuck away from whoever this was they was listening to. Could be their own outdated beliefs or it could have been other people around them. But you have the death. So you got Scorpio energy with the Empress. Yeah, somebody didn't see you for who you was, two of swords. They were unable to see that you really were this empress. Also, it's like 
because the death card talks about going through major changes. Y'all, the nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy. And then you get the empress. So it says almost there. Somebody was waiting for you to revert back. Or they, with, with this person lying or someone lying saying you were worshiping the devil, this is how they thought you were getting these blessings. They refused to believe. They were the ones being stubborn tonight. We saw the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. This person was the one being judgmental and very stubborn. They were confused about your energy. I feel like that's over now. Um, and now this person is inspired by you, but damn, they betrayed you. They know it. That's why they're scared to come forward. So they just watch you from the distance. Okay? Um them and all them damn people because this is people they watch you from the distance because everything that these people thought about you was it wasn't the truth somebody really thought you were getting these upgrades in life because you sold your soul to the devil or you were worshiping the devil some crazy shit like that y'all and this is really sad and so this person could have even feared being near you. Like, hell no, nah, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> okay? This is crazy. But, you know, they really do have emotions for you. They really do, okay? Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's this song by Latasha Lee. It's called Think On. And she says, you see the bad in me, not the good in me. You think you know me all too well, but I can guarantee that I'm not what you think. She's saying, um, you could just pick up the phone and call me and you might find some love. People, how, how does she say it? People gonna talk about the things that they don't understand. So if you are someone who I feel is in spirituality with the Empress here, they didn't want to see you on the bright side of it. They wanted to say you were worshiping the devil. And with this fool energy in the Queen of Wands, it's giving me that think on. You know, you're going to think what you want to think. And I don't feel like I need to prove myself to you. I know what I'm doing this for. Okay. And the Most High God knows what I'm doing. I'm not going to sit around here and try to prove to you and your family with that Ten of Pentacles what I, why I'm doing what I'm doing and who I'm doing it for. I don't have to do that. So with that eight of cups and the judgment, this person just refused to see you for who you were. They could have even gotten themselves caught up in a, a karmic cycle. People do that. They be so judgmental. They never stop to, and you know, I tell people all the time, it's easy to project. It's easy to point the finger and say, oh, that person, it's their fault. They're the bad guy, blah, blah, blah. But it's hard to go within yourself and check yourself. Be like, hold on, wait a minute. Am I being harsh on this person? Am I judging them? You know, that was somebody did. And they was confused. And they, for a long ass time, okay, they may have even invested in some bullshit. And the whole time they over there judging you and thinking they're building something. You're the one that's truly building and people could have even, like I said, somebody was waiting on you to go back to the old you. Something major changed here. Maybe you had an addiction or some codependent issues. Something changed and they refused to see it. Oh, this person ain't changed. They still doing this. They still doing that. And the only reason they're successful is because they sold their soul to the devil. That was somebody said, man. But somebody here, your own mama may have said something to this person. Out of envy, jealousy. I guess this is Leo reading. Leo out here three times. The son, the king of wands with the strength. So, Leo, somebody could be watching you online or they could want to message you, but they know how they betrayed you. You, I mean, it's like 
What you see is what you get. What you were showing this person was right there in their face. They just refused to see it with the two of swords and seven of cups. Denial is dangerous as fuck. 10, 10 on the phone. Somebody refused to see the truth and they insisted on listening to the lies. Some of these people joined in and told lies about you. Others of them just hung out with the people who was talking shit about you. Same difference, man. Like I said, they want to reach out to you, but they know they betrayed you. They crossed the line with you for real. And so some of them could be scared that you won't forgive them. They're the ones in the judgmental energy. Like, people don't be understanding when they're projecting their own insecurities, their own fears, their own perceptions on other people. Maybe you've been forgave this person. I don't give a fuck what you think. I know what I'm doing. I know, you know, why I'm here and I know my purpose. Do you know yours? Right? A lot of these people don't have no fucking purpose. They just out here aimlessly living and gossiping about others who are finding their purpose. Okay, so what's this? Privileged lady with a false person. This for some of you it's a masculine. Like you were supposed to be the main woman in their life and they got hooked up with a um superficial motherfucker. And they thought that was the real deal. <laughs> they could have married them, but look, somebody was only with them for what they had. Or this person could have married somebody for money. Either way, they're projecting. They're the ones that's fake, superficial, and they're projecting that shit onto you. So, adjudication, bad health. Yeah, they could be going through karma. And they'll tell them what they did. They know they betrayed you, Ten of Swords. They know they did. This bad health could be part of their karma. Messages of concern, bad health. By the time they turn around, some bad news. And the person that they thought was worshiping the devil is nothing but blessings around this person. So the truth is undeniable. So now they could be looking at this false person like, hold up, wait a minute. You said, because this false person could have been the one line. You said that Leo was blah, 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 blah. And that you was the real divine feminine. Now they got some concern with some regret and all kind of shit. But if they're married to this person, they stuck in some shit they don't want to be in. But that's what happens when you don't listen to your own intuition. You let other motherfuckers pers persuade you with these lies and shit. Like, anybody got time for that? Let's grab some of these situations. And then, you know, for some of you, if this is your twin flame, they was definitely, with that two of swords, deliberately refusing. That seven of cups could be spirit giving them all kind of signs, making them constantly think about you, dream about you, feel your energy, even though you're not around them. People always bringing up your name, but the two of they were refusing. That can't be my person. Uh-uh. This empress can't be my person. Okay. You see what happens with a, a, a hard, what they say? A hard head make a soft ass. Whoever they got with is the false person. I just said denial is dangerous. And I just saw that denial card. This person was refusing to see the truth of it. Now they feel like they're running out of time. <coughs> so. Mm -mm. What's going on? Children. They could have went back to someone in their childhood. Or they could, this could, this is like six of cups. They could want to come back and talk to you and see if y'all can get on the same page. Oh, realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. So something coming out. Somebody got receipts about something. Okay, what's that? Drastic cut off and Leo energy again with the sun card. So this is definitely Leo reading. 
what's this TikTok again somebody feel like they're running out of time so you got two cutoff cards extreme harsh cutoff ghosted block and cutoff I feel the realization was who the real divine feminine is. So whoever the other person that they was with, they cutting that energy off. Triggers. Yeah, I feel like spirit was triggering your person. They would always either see a card that looked like yours, somebody would always speak your name, or there's something about a particular place. What else? Okay, insatiable. Wanting more. Unquenchable. Ooh. Taking a risk came up in the reverse. So that's the fool in the reverse. I feel like they didn't take a risk on you. Because it's something about you that's different. This is somebody who's, a, it's like, they know how they felt about you, but because they are surrounded by judgmental people, the people you hang around will shape who you are. So because they grow up or hang around judgmental motherfuckers, they themselves are judgmental, whether they know it or not. King of Cups right next to judgment. Okay. And you were put in this person's life for them to take a risk and come your way and they didn't do it. And I feel like you took a risk with the fool and started something with your work and you became very successful. And they're like, damn, I'm supposed to be right there with that person. Well, racing, a race against time. Now, somebody pain and scared because of what has, excuse me, because of what has been um, realized here. Told you, didn't I was dangerous. That's, that was this two of swords. This person was refusing to see the truth. Uh, not facing the truth. Irrational reasoning. Because they needed to cleanse themselves from them toxic ass people. But they thought you was the one toxic. They thought you was the one that worshipping the devil and all of that shit. That they was hanging around toxic ass people. Also with this sage right here. Again, somebody is very spiritual. And someone lied about this person's spirituality. <sighs> okay. But, um, look. Divine masculine. And then you got Archangel Michael protecting somebody here. So, you got Divine Feminine here. And you got Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine was refusing to see that this person was their Divine Feminine. So that's how they hooked up with that Queen of Pentacles. Poor thing. Mm -hmm. And now that person could be wanting to retaliate. Punish, pay back, revenge. Yeah, I told you. Toxic ass people. Somebody needs to remove the people that they hang around. Someone could have tried to, you know, trap this person up. It says entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. I mean, ain't no telling. I feel like a lot of shit done happened in this masculine's life. Why this emperor's been over here working on they self. Or the fucking regret wouldn't be here. Somebody know they should have jumped on this empress when they had the opportunity. Because the empress was and is wish fulfillment. There's a magnetic attraction here. This person being so judgmental, I mean, it fucked it up. Fucked it up. Now they got to come in here and be honest with you. Like, listen, I mis misjudged your energy. Okay? Karmic. I'm telling you. That's, they were, like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me tell y'all. This divine masculine was refusing to see that this empress was their person. So they got with the Queen of Pentacles. Could even be a Capricorn. They thought that this karma was their divine feminine. 
and left the real divine feminine out in the cold. That's how you know that's a mother. That's a distorted person who is not in tune with their intuition. Because spirit kept telling their ass. Yeah, they just got with somebody who only wanted them for what the fuck they had. Child, I'm getting so sick of hearing this damn storyline. Anyway, you got intervention, rescue, other people involved. Someone's angry. Ten of Wands. Settlement. Divorce. So, about to reveal, confess, someone is threatened about something. Focused on someone's twin flame. This, hell, the masculine could be mad. Somebody's trying to come to some type of agreement or compromise. They're trying to get out of it. Remember, they married their karmic because they were refusing to see this divine feminine was their person. It was something different about this feminine. They were like, no, that can't be my person. Spirit's like, yes, it is. So, I don't know what the fuck they did. They could be... They could be mad because it's like, damn, I married the, the gold digger. And if I want to get out of it, which somebody does with divorce, this gold digger going to try to take me for everything I got. So they trying to come up with some type of agreement or compromise. Child, this shit here crazy. But that's what happened. A hard head make a soft ass. I'm talking about that booty be soft as fuck. Somebody with hard head. Stubborn. People was gossiping, trying to create drama. All right, I do see your person coming out of it. Now they single, free to fucking mingle. That's this divine masculine. He could want to come towards you. Some of y'all may not want to deal with this person. Some of y'all might. I don't know. Just I feel like listen to them. See what the hell they got to say. I already told you what happened. They fucked up. But that what they done done. They done fucked up. And they about to run out of time. And completely miss. All the signs was in this person's face. So this card right here. It's like really? The signs was in your damn face the whole time. Your ass was refusing. To believe that shit. And it could be because they have a family with this person. So they could have thought that you know. Uh, this person I'm meant to be with them. You know, those karmic relationships are the hardest ones to release. They are. Hold on, y'all, my battery. These karmic relationships, they're the hardest ones to release because they're the ones that's here to teach your ass and listen. And this person wasn't, they were busy. Well, they've learned the lesson now, completion done, lesson learned. But damn. Look at all the shit they had to go through. They didn't have to go through this. But because their ass is so damn stubborn. I don't like stubborn ass people. It's got to be a fucking... I don't know. Got to be a masculine. Who was all in their masculine energy. They, they swore up and down that they knew it all. And sat up here and let motherfuckers make them believe that somebody... Make, they let their family make them believe that somebody was like a devil worshiper. I said in another reading, don't nobody want somebody who can't think for themselves. Yeah, that was in Sagittarius reading. I said that shit. I said, don't nobody want no man who can't think for themselves. Like, where your fucking brain at? You feel me? So, we'll see. We'll see, y'all. Let me get y'all a message from Spirit. Yeah. Blessing in disguise and time ago. Perfect time. We already saw somebody feel like they're running against the, the race against time. So you got go for it. Perfect timing. Time to go. Blessing in disguise. And parents. So again, with the parent shit. Could have been their own parents who was judging the divine feminine. Or someone that they have kids with judging divine feminine. Okay? But if they would have just listened to their own... Because with ear chakras, it says, notice the messages that appear as sound, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. Because these messages are real answers to your prayers. Spirit was trying to tell them. 
I just like I, I I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to, you know, life purpose, creative project, child. That's what happens when you are judgmental and stubborn and outdated and you don't think for your damn self. Scared to have your own thoughts. Y'all should go listen to that song. Her her name is Latasha Lee. The title of it is Think On. Like, you know, people gonna talk shit about things that they don't understand. And everybody got an opinion. And people will try to turn your world upside down. But you gotta keep a smile because you know who you are. So these, that family could have did a whole lot of shit to Divine Feminine. She still remained on top with the Six of Wands. So it's like after they tried to betray you and they seen that they couldn't, then that's when they like, well, damn, this person really must be the Divine Feminine. We done did everything under the sun to try to bring this person down. I hate when people do that. But sometimes that's how people have to learn. Okay? Somebody could be sick the way my daughter was just coughing like that. Everything that happened in the reading is very, very relevant. Till next time. Bye.